Okay, guys, shout for joy, greatest common factor. Okay, this is exciting things happening here. All right, factor. What's a factor? A factor is the two numbers that multiply to a number. That I said number a lot of times. Hold with me, okay? So the factors of six are one and six, right? Because one times six is six, and two and three, okay? Those are the factors of six, okay? The factors of 18 we'll do in just a second. So basically, we're trying to figure out what two, um, the biggest factor these numbers have in common, okay? All numbers have the common factor of one, okay? But we want the biggest one, the greatest one, okay? So I'm going to list my factors of six again sideways this time. Um, and typically when we're listing them out um, for greatest common factor, it kind of makes it easiest if you just go from lowest to highest, if that makes sense. So I'm going to list it like this. One, two, three, six, okay? You don't have to do it that way, but it just kind of makes it easier as you're comparing, okay? Now, the factors of 18, okay? Well, I know 1 times 18 is 18. 2 times 9 is 18, right? Also, 3 times 6 is 18. 4 doesn't go into 18. 5 doesn't go into 18. 6 we had paired with our 3, right? So I'm going to write 6 again. Then we can just kind of do our pairs. So I know 3 times 6 is 18. 2 times 9 is 18. 1 times 18 is 18, right? Okay, so there's all the factors of 6, all the factors of 18, okay? What is the biggest one that they have in common? Oh, look, they end up nicely. It is 6, okay? So the GCF, or greatest common factor, for 6 and 18 is 6. If you're like, why do I need to learn this? Um, fractions. It's going to help you with fractions. And you're going to love fractions. <laughs> you will, maybe. Okay. Now we're looking for the greatest common factor between 18 and 45. Okay. Now, if you're like, oh, those are bigger numbers. Um, just hold on. You, you can do it. Okay. Now, this was convenient, which I remember this sometimes happening, like, on my homework. Um when I was doing these fun problems was sometimes you get the same number. So it's like, oh, I already figured out all the factors for those. Sweet. So I'm just going to write this again. One, two, three, six, nine, 18. Okay. So there's my 18. Now the factors of 45. So um, to figure these out, you can write them like this if that's easier for you and then list them out this way um, if that's easier or I just kind of like to start with one and work my way up. So I know one times 45 is 45. Two does not go into 45 because it's not um, even. Three goes into 45 15 times. Okay. Uh, four does not go in because I know it goes into 44 and not 45. Um, five does go in. Okay. Uh, five goes in nine times six does not go in. Um, if you don't know your multiplication problem super well, it's a good thing to practice, but also you can, um, hopefully if you're allowed a calculator, I think most teachers allow them, you just do 45 divided by six. And if it comes with a, um, a whole number, then you're good. If it's a decimal, then no, we're just looking for whole number factors. Okay. So one, three, five, six doesn't go in. 7 doesn't go in, 8 doesn't go in, 9 goes in, and we know that it's 9 times 5. So once I get to those numbers that pair up, then I can just go back to 3. 3 times 15 gives me 45, and 1 times 45 gives me 45. Okay, so there's the factors of 18, the factors of 45. What is the biggest one they have in common? What is it? It is 9. Okay, so... Greatest common factor between 18 and 45 is 9. Okay. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. Hopefully you can get your homework done.